Following is an overview of Stitch and Sew, a software created by CompuCon and sold and supported by Dement Studios. When the screen is open, choose from hundreds of helpful tips. Close when you are finished. The screen has three primary working areas, digitizing, lettering setup, and editing, which requires stitches on screen. The standard toolbar contains a variety of tools and is entirely customizable. Exchange the tools that you use often for those that you do not. The drop-down menus contain every feature and function in the software. Simply choose an item from the list and it will activate that function. There is lots of help available to learn Stitch and Sew software. The internet help box can be moved around. with the scroll bars resized and opened or closed for your convenience. The screen defaults to millimeter measurement and can be changed in system parameters to inches. Many dialog boxes are floating and can be moved by the blue bar, locked to freeze in place, or unlocked to fold up when not in use. The name of on-screen design is displayed at the top of the screen. Looking in the digitizing area, there are tools from which to choose, including Magic Wand, which requires an image on screen, and a fill method, which is the way in which to handle the shape. Set the color for the shape before or after it is created. To create with freeform, use a left click for a circle point and a prolonged left click for a straight point for corners, etc. Right click to close the shape if desired. Change the stitch angle if desired. Points can be removed during creation or after stitches have been applied. Another important tool for embroidery is column with variable stitch angles. Letters and many other shapes are created with this tool. The points are set as a point counterpoint creating the width and stitch angle of the column at once. Again, points can be edited during the creation process or after stitches have been applied. Basic geometric shapes are also offered with several different fill methods and lots of options within each shape. For example, borders can be created or solid shapes. There is no easier way to digitize a star. With an image on screen, Magic Wand makes digitizing effortless. Choose Magic Wand, a fill method, and simply click in an area. Lettering is very easy to use in Stitch and Sew. The taskbar is organized very much like any word processing program. Just type in your word, choose the font style, the size, justification, whether to italicize or not, and choose from several special frames. The frames themselves have many abilities, 
so be sure to play with them. Set your letter in a different color than the last element and choose Stitch It. Notice the design title has an asterisk following it to signify that changes have been made since last save. The editing area has many functions. Click on the block to be edited and reshape the outline by moving points, change from a circle to a straight point in the same way it was created. Change the entry and exit points and the stitch angle if desired and click stitch it. Also changes can be made to the stitch type and the settings of any block such as outline. The resting or default mode of Stitch and Sew is the select mode. Objects can be selected and many functions performed to the selected object. Notice that every block in the design is represented in the block list. Using the block list, many options are available, such as changing the color of a block, or changing the connection of the block. Notice the change of symbols. Copy and paste is vital to the select function. A pasted element can be resized, repositioned, rotated, and flipped. Notice that the pasted selection appears in a ghost frame until you're satisfied and reapply the stitches. You can use Enter key or apply. You can use the block list to select multiple objects by holding down the control key and choosing the objects. Then manipulate the frame with the multiple objects in it. When pasting an object that will be symmetrical in the design, turn on the grid for easier placement. Most designs should have a center point of origin, so center your design before saving the final design. A final select option, choose the entire design and hit delete key.